own food. You know, I think since we've been open, shut in the house, um, who has not ate their 19 pounds yet, right? Oh yeah, my 15. Yeah. So today we're going to do some a little healthier things that we can do. Um, one of the things that I have for us today is a beautiful fruit salad. Um, how many people come home from the grocery store and you throw all your stuff in the refrigerator and then it goes bad? Um, I'm guilty of that. Yes, so, make it. Yeah. So I think when you do when you do buy fresh fruit, make sure you take it home and of course wash it all, clean it up, and do a nice fruit salad or put it someplace in little Ziploc baggies so that you'll be able to um, enjoy the fruit while it's still fresh. Um, How do you make that look so fresh and stay so pretty? Is that brand new? That is brand new. Um, a fruit salad like this, um, especially with these lovely little raspberries, yum, um, you want to eat it up pretty fast. I mean, this will last probably through tomorrow, and then things start to get a little mushy. So you want to make sure you eat this up. But um, when you have something like this, it's pleasing to the eye, and you want to eat it. And of course, everything in here is really good. One of the things that's in season right now <clears throat> are strawberries and most people like strawberries um, all of your local farmers are starting to pick strawberries so make sure you keep an eye about who's picking strawberries and you can go pick some strawberries I have a little information about the strawberry uh, as lovely as it is and as lovely as the fruit salad it makes um, this tiny berry is sort of shaped like a heart and that's because it's good for your heart. Um, it's full of vitamin C, it's full of fiber, and it's full of antioxidants, and of course a lot more. Um, these little cookie guys um, protect your heart. Um, it increases the HDL, which is the good cholesterol. Um, it lowers blood pressure, and also uh, it can guard against cancers. So you want to make sure you eat plenty of strawberries, especially this time of year, because they're fresh. Um, in my fruit salad today, not only do I have strawberries, I've got raspberries, blackberries, I've got those little mandarin oranges. I just love those little mandarin oranges. I yes. have to deliver to Marietta. <laughs> pick up, pick up only. <laughs> and kiwi, it's one of those things um, I forget about. But I love the little kiwis, and of course they're packed with vitamin C too. So um, make sure you make your, yourself a good um, fruit salad. Keep it in the refrigerator. Um, blueberries, again, very very good for you. Um, so you want the blueberries, and there's apples. So there's all kinds of yummy stuff in my fruit salad today. So that's one of the things that I wanted to talk about. Um, just keeping a nice fresh fruit salad in your refrigerator. So the other thing we're going to talk about today is, Bonnie, what's your favorite fruit in there? Oh, I have pretty much anything in there I will eat. Strawberries, the blackberries, the kiwis I love. Are there bananas in there? There's not. Uh, I my favorite. But it looks beautiful. It totally looks beautiful. Now, if you add your bananas, uh, make sure you're going to eat it pretty soon. Or put just a little lemon juice on top. Uh, lemon juice will keep things a little fresher. And I did put just a little lemon juice in this. Just okay. From turning yellow or brown. Okay. Things. That's good if, to know. If you do put bananas in here, make sure you're going to eat them. So I would slice the bananas the very last thing before you eat it. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. The next thing we're going to do is a um, asparagus cheese quiche. Um, let me get that together. <coughs> now, will we uh, get these recipes later? Do you have available for us? Yes, we have post these either to the website or a link where you can get and get these recipes. Right. So, um, the recipe, the, the it's actually called a cheese vegetable quiche. Um, this came out of the Southern Living Cookbook. So I'm going to make it my own, and that's what you do with recipes, is you make it your own. Um, Sorry. It, 
It starts with a deep dish uh, and pie crust. Now, I bought it. I bought my pie crust, so I cheated. You can, uh, you can make your own pie crust. You can get the ones where you roll out and put in a dish, but you do need to pre-bake your crust. So I stuck this in a 400 degree oven. I followed the recipe on the back of the package. Um, it took about eight minutes and it just rounded it, just a little bit. So in this shell, uh, let me grab my cheeses. Okay, um, the recipe, like I say, I always make the recipe my own. Um, the recipe calls for fresh broccoli and cauliflower. Eh, whatever. Right now, what's fresh is asparagus. And I love asparagus. And it's actually very good for you also. Asparagus is uh, high in also antioxidants. Um, the recipe calls to saute your vegetables, but asparagus, I don't do that too. It's just so nice and fresh that I just hate to make it, you know, saute it, make it just a little soggy. So let me get the asparagus. Uh, do you like these, Bonnie? I do like asparagus, yes. Um, when you go to clean asparagus and get ready to cut it up, um, I don't know if you all know this, there's a hard end to your asparagus. When this comes up, there's usually about this, about the top half of it that's tender to eat. So what I do when I'm preparing my asparagus, I grab a bowl of the end and then just sort of bend. Wherever it breaks, <laughs> I know it went off. That was cute. Yeah. <laughs> so just, just snap your asparagus. So I'll go ahead and do this. <laughs> not enough. Huh? That's something I did not know. No? You don't want that old tough end. I mean, if you're going to eat this, look, I won't even break hardly. You don't want that old tough, especially these big ones. I'll just break that stuff off. And uh, I have an asparagus plant out back, and it grows one asparagus every year. One. <laughs> okay, I've got that done. So I'm just going to, I don't know if you can see here, but I'm just going to chop these up. Um, I want to make them um, just little pieces so that they cook pretty fast. So we're just going to chop those asparagus up. And it was just about, what, six or seven asparagus spears? Yeah. Not too yeah. You don't want to overdo it. I love your uh, Fiesta Wear kitchen, by the way. It's lovely. Thank you. Um, I try to collect the color every year, the new color. So uh, I have all different colors back there. At Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, I invite my family down, and I have the new color covered. So they have to guess what the new color is. <laughs> but they've gotten wise. They look on the internet before they come. And find out what the new color is. They do. So I'm just going to put that asparagus in the bottom of my shell. And just sort of spread it around. So you can see it's there in the bottom. Okay, to this, I'm going to add um, a six ounce of Swiss cheese. So I'm just going to pour this over. And it's according to how much cheese you want. Who doesn't love cheese, right? Exactly. I'm going to put the whole six ounces. And then I've got some cheddar cheese. So I'm going to put cheddar cheese on there. So you're using sharp cheddar cheese. I am. I like sharp cheddar cheese. Um, just makes it sharper, right? I don't know. <laughs> so you say. I think it has more flavor um, than just regular cheddar cheese. Okay. So I've got my cheese, my asparagus in the bottom. I'm going to set that aside. And in my mixing bowl, I'm going to do all the eggs. So in this, I'm going to beat four eggs. Now, the recipe calls for egg yolks, but I end up never using the whites, so I'm just going to throw it all in there. That makes it my own recipe. It does. It does. So, one. The other day, a friend brought me some eggs, and they were duck eggs. So I'm going to use duck eggs. 
Are you gonna eat them just? I, I think I am. They're, they're like almost twice the size of this one. And they said the yolk is beautiful. So um, I'll experiment with them. And if they keep okay. having them, maybe we can bring it in the cooking class here with us. So I've got my four eggs cracked into my dish. Um, I'm going to beat that up. Just break those eggs up. Um, to that, it calls for one cup of whipping cream. Now, not everybody will have whipping cream. And this, while we are inside safe, we don't go to the grocery store just because we need whipping cream. So whatever you have in your refrigerator, if you've got 1%, 2% vitamin D, if you've got a can of carnation milk, um, evaporated milk, you can use that. I, I do happen to have whipping cream. And I'll tell a little story. I love whipping cream in my coffee in the morning which is probably a no-no, but it's so good. So I'm going to add the whipping cream. And I'm going to beat that up together. And to this, I'm going to add, I've got salt, nutmeg, and I actually have some white pepper. Now, not everybody has white pepper, so you can use just regular black pepper if you want. The white well, pepper, I think, is... Why that? is white pepper different? White pepper's a little stronger. Um, the black, it just, it has a little stronger flavor. So when okay. you put it quiche, the pepper comes through a little bit more. It's not like you're going to bite onto a piece of pepper. You know how you get that in your mouth, you bite onto it. This is right. a little more flavor to it, I think. Okay. Um, yeah. So if you get a chance... And you get out, get you some white pepper, and experiment with it. It's really good. <clears throat> okay, we're going to put some salt. Um, it calls for, and I, I do this all the time, calls for one and a half teaspoons of salt. I don't want that much salt in there. So I'm going to put one teaspoon of salt. Um, I'm not a big salt eater, so I think when uh, it calls for more salt than I like, I just leave it out. If, if once it's cooked and you think it needs salt, then add a little salt. So I put salt. I'm going to put a half a teaspoon of my, my white pepper. That smells good. Half a teaspoon of white pepper. And I've got a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. What I do with my nutmeg with all my quiche is I put about half of it in here, and then I'll sprinkle a little on top. I think it adds for a nice color on top of your quiche. So let's get this all stirred together. So Bonnie, tell me what you've been doing. Um, sitting, I'm working from home, doing hauls, wellness checks, and I'm also delivering meals during the day for O'Neill Center. And mm -hmm. it's been a fun week in the rain, so, um, <laughs> but all of our little seniors totally um, are appreciative, and I like seeing their faces. Yep. So, it's been a good week. We're doing that through the end of May, I believe, or maybe longer. Yeah, well that's wonderful. Now they can call O'Neill Center if it's something they wanna get involved in. Yep. If they have some, if they have the needs, they can call me. Somebody's there to answer the phone, eight to four. So they're welcome to call. Good. You know, speaking of groceries, and um, I don't know about all of you, but I'm very cautious now when I go to the grocery store. Of course, I wear my mask, I wear my gloves. Um, when I get home, I set stuff aside, um, wipe them down. Um, you know, that's so much work. So what I've been doing is I've, I've been calling my local grocery store, or I've been actually, I got a web, I go on my uh, phone and there's actually an app you can download for the particular store I go to, and you can order everything off online. So I can schedule a pickup time, and when I get to the, my local grocery, um, they actually carry it out and just drop it in the car. 
So I never have to touch anything in the store. They do it all for me. So That's great. I, wonderful. That's great. Have you done that, Bonnie? Um, I have not. I have not done that. I don't shop a lot, honestly, because I don't eat, a, eat at home a lot. But um, my daughter's been cooking for me, so I eat with... You're lucky. Uh, I am lucky. <laughs> I like to cook, so it's not a problem. Okay, we have our egg mixture all mixed up. Um, let me get the pie shell back here. And we're just going to pour it over top of our asparagus and our cheese. Yum, 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 yum. It looks great. It is, for sure. My husband will love this. He's always in, usually in the kitchen saying, what are you cooking today? So on top of that, I'm going to put just a little bit of my nut. So I'm just going to put a little sprinkle. And then I will set this. Um, my oven is set at 375. And it'll be in there for approximately 40 to 45 minutes. I actually baked one earlier. And it was in there for about 40 minutes. So you really want to keep an eye on your quiche. And how you'll know it's done is if you sort of move the rack, the center will jiggle. As soon right. as that jiggle stops, then you'll know it's done in the center. Okay. So gotcha. Just, we'll stick this in the oven. Okay. And guess what? The voila. Voila. Look at here. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, wow. So let's get that on a plate. Get this out of the way. You like, you like that one? Look at that. Uh, yes, that was a great color choice. Boring. So, whoops, that piece didn't turn out well. You know, they always say the first piece comes out bad. I, I believe that. Look at that. Isn't that yummy? Uh, oh, that yeah. looks beautiful. We're going to put that on that plate. And, of course, I love color. Okay, what are you doing for color? Uh -oh. Fruit. Oh, fruit. Look here. Gosh, i got to do a little bit of everything in there. Okay. Oh, that looks amazing. Oh, you're making me hungry. <laughs> you have to come with me for lunch when we're all back together again, Bonnie. Yeah. Nice. I will come for lunch. Well, I'm glad you're sharing your lunch with everybody else. I'm sure everybody's going to love it. Thank you for doing it for us. And I'm, I am hope everybody's happy to see your face because we haven't seen you for a while. Um, are you going to do something for us next week? What do you have in mind? I think we're going to try and do this every week. Um, next week, we're going to try and do a chicken Reuben, which Ooh. is yummy. Um, it is used with the rotisserie chicken, or you can just bake your own chicken breast and carry it apart. But we're going to do that next week, uh, along with a sweet potato fry. Wow. Now, if you want to cook with me, uh, grab yourself some sweet potatoes. Um, of course, if you don't have sweet potatoes in your pantry, you can use a white potato. And we will do some sweet potato fries and a turkey Reuben next wow. week. Wow, that sounds okay. yummy. It will be yummy. Oh. Um, I just say hi to everybody. Um, I miss everybody at Cooking Club and everybody else because I'm staying in. Uh, you, do, uh, you do miss spaces. So I hope everybody will join us. And as always, remember to stay hip, stay healthy, independent, and productive. That'll make us healthy all the way around. Oh, thanks, Becky. We'll see you next week. Okay, okay, take care. I'm, I think I'm going to fork and eat. Thanks. Yeah, the fork and eat. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you everyone for joining us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this posted onto our Facebook page as well as our YouTube. So you can go back and watch Becky and then later we will be posting what you'll need to join us for next week. Everybody stays hip, 
healthy, independent, and productive. We cannot wait to see you. We miss you. Everybody have a great day.